same but every night's different. Yeah. It's, a, it's a family. We're, we're, we're a true family. And Chris and I are treated like crew really. We're treated more, you know, we all have a say in the band and it's nice. It's, it's, it's nice. Kevin makes it real nice. Shaley, if we don't have hands, the boys don't slack. Now, Kevin, Kevin will tote as much shit as anybody. Yeah. <laughs> right? Even if I try to make him not tote any. It's like, go sit down. It's like, no, we gotta, we gotta have some help on this one. So, uh, when was the last time y'all used a set list? Probably 1987. <laughs> you did five shows for five years and you just got to the point where you're like, fuck it, let's wing it? Well, I just would, I would just change it so it didn't make any difference if I used it or made it or not. Because our shows are based on who's in the crowd, you know? Right. And if the first song's really fucking loud and like people are like, oh, then I'm going to change. You know what I mean? But it's like, okay, well, maybe... Let me ease into him a little bit, so I'll change up, you know. It's like football. You don't write out an entire game's worth of plays. I mean, if you see the defense moving, you change your play, you know. That's what it's all about, you know. That's why the pack's so good. Hey, we want you to be happy. <laughs> Shut because up. you are the one returning. And we want to make this night special for you. Uh, laugh you. <laughs> Dude, look up. how close I am. This is, this is probably the closest I'll be to him tonight. About the same year, I was nine, and my parents took me to see the Who, and they were the opening band. So that was the first time driving a car. So you're nine years old. Yeah. And now you're how old? Twenty-five. And you're doing what? Playing Sadler Baden, <laughs> my best friend, brings life back into a band that, uh, I mean, we're a bunch of old fucks, man. We're all of us are pushing 50, you know, if not 50. So definitely Sadler and, and Kevin the same way. It's just, uh, you know, it's it's just, there's doesn't have to be any kind of verbal communication. It's just there. It's, the aura is like amazing between us. So, yeah. Very cool, brother. Appreciate your time. Dig it. Yes, sir.
sounds good, you're in. If it doesn't, you're not. Right. You know, it's whatever it is. You know, it's we're pretty organic, man. It's, we're just, you know, we're an organic rock band. Some nights I don't, I didn't think I was doing me very good. You know, I run out of ideas or just just wanting to, or just wanting to voice certain things and you can't f find it. You know, you're like, oh, I'm not good enough. I wish I could, because I wanted to sound like I want to go. Blah, 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 blah. But I don't know how to go, but you know. Just, so it's you just could, your fingers not working right with yeah, your mind. Yeah, you just yeah, yeah, just just it's just about knowing where the notes go, or, or 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 doing a solo in a certain key, you know, like Audley and and Warren and Sadler know what key you're in. They know where the solo goes. I still don't. At the house, you know, at Charlie's house, the Colonel was there, and that's when I met him. You know, I'd never heard of the Grease Band or. That might have been before Aquarium Rescue Unit, though. I'm not sure. It's kind of a true story, but it's not me. It's the Indigo Girls. The Indigo Girls are good friends. Uh, they are good friends of mine, and uh, and uh, but we started off together, like in the same era, you know. And uh, Amy and Emily picked me up one time and drove me to Athens. And I, we did a show together. It's like 1986 or something like that. And they told me the story of the first time they like went to Greenwich Village to play, you know, played in front of like nobody or whatever, you know. And so I kind of wrote this song based around that kind of experience, like you know, you know, like people at that time were coming to Athens. Yeah, I took a break for a while and tried to really practice playing guitar a lot. So I did a lot of folk stuff. I did a lot of band stuff for a while. So I been, you know, I really tried to practice. Like I heard Merle Haggard did a lot of like. He spent a couple of years doing that, like just kind of sitting in with Willie Nelson and so I just kind of trying to practice because you, you play with Warren Haynes enough, it's just humiliating. Isn't it? You just like, and he throws you solo, you're like, what do I do? why? Why? You gonna fucking come back and do I'm going to come back on, on top of that. So what? usually I just go, I do like a Neil Young solo and I'm, I'm out. What'd you get with All the time. Yeah. Really? I've, oh yeah, I played.